Okay, I'm Mike Dunn, um, known as the Arizona Cowboy Poet. Um, decided I'd do Mom's Kitchen Table for you because everybody's got a mom and there was always a kitchen table. I'd like to be at Mom's Kitchen Table again and the surroundings is when I was a kid. Life was easy and worries were few and Mom found good in all we did. We'd gather around the table each morning and again at the end of the day. Mom would make sure we were washed and clean before bowing our heads to pray. Now the table was long and a bit narrow, but it fit all us kids just fine. Along with Dad, Mom, and a hired hand, and a border from time to time. Made from planks of four-inch pine. Scraps from when the barn was built. A leg on each corner, another in the middle. Sturdy, strong, and stout. Benches split from cottonwood, running along each side. Once rough, now worn smooth, but polished over time. At the head of the table, Dad's chair was set. Mom's at the other end. But when Dad missed a meal, she'd fix him a plate and take the bench seat next to him. A center for family gatherings, a good book might be read at night, where life's discussions were commonplace by the glow of a coal oil light. Figuring out which fields to plant, which calves to send to sell, horses to work, cows to cull, which fields to cut and bell. At the tables where quilts were sown, peas were peeled, peaches canned, where wild berries and cactus apples were preserved, jellied, and changed. Where Uncle Ben in agony was laid when fighting wrestlers he got shot. Where the doctor labored into the night to dig that bullet out. A workbench for mending saddles, or study when day was done. There's a hole where Dad shot it. He claimed while loading his gun. It's where the preacher set to visit when sister was to be wed. It's where the family was called to gather to get the news. Grandpa was dead. Family discussions, plans laid out where meat was prepared for the smoker. Laundry was folded, gifts were wrapped, and an occasional game of matchstick poker. Supported Dad's arms, holding his head when spring crops didn't come through. Late frost, hot winds, or a plight of bugs, there was little anyone could do. Where a proud man confessed the shortcomings of his life. To the one woman with the will in here. His darling. My mother. His wife. Where Sunday meals of wild turkey or beef were served as a festive feast. And music. All music around that table was made to the tapping of tired feet. Now there's quiet remembrances and stories told with laughter and tears. And those gatherings at the table has been part of it all, spanning decades of years. At Mom's kitchen table, great lessons were learned. More than at school, work, or church, lessons of life respect and caring the lessons of a family's worth.